What can I help you with, Lord of Darkness? I'm looking for a date. The date is Friday, July 13th. No, no. I want to meet someone. Understood. You want to eat dim sum. Don't you get it? I want to go on a date. I'm lonely. I understand. You want bologna. <sighs> ah, too many eyes. Too few eyes. Not into tentacles. Hello， 观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看本期的对话好莱坞，我是主持人蓝天。索尼动画《精灵旅社三：疯狂假期》这一次啊，来了一场说走就走的全家旅行。辛苦工作了几百年的德古拉呢，这一次终于走出了旅社，踏上了游轮，开启了一场祖孙四代同游的夏日疯狂假期。但是游轮上呢，德古拉遇见了船长 Erica， 并且一见倾心，反而梅菲斯呢，变得非常的过度保护孩子的一个大。家长一般哈，想尽办法呢，想让父亲和这个 Erica 呢保持距离，但是他们不知道啊，这场看似美好的爱情呢，其实是德古拉和其他精灵的死对头范海星布下的陷阱了。那宿命之敌呢，吸血鬼猎人范海星在船上布置了天罗地网啊，等待着猎物上门。除了爆笑搞怪，这一次的冒险啊，更为惊险刺激。今天我们同时也是邀请到了影片的几位主创。来跟我们分享一下这部影片背后的一些故事，一起来看一看。Hi, Gandhi. Thank you so much for joining us today. Can you share with us on how did the summer vacation for this movie come about? My in-laws surprised our family with a with a holiday cruise, right? And so it was like, oh, we get to go on a boat and kind of trapped with your in-laws, even though I like them, but still, it's, you know, you kind of have that feeling. And then I remember as we were boarding the ship. I noticed, and because it was a holiday cruise, especially it was all families, right? And it started to come together all of a sudden. Like, wait, look at all these families! What a great opportunity for our monster family, you know? And it started to come become very organic. And I've always wanted to do a story about Dracula falling in love. And then when I came back, I pitched the idea to the head of the studio, and she loved it. And everybody kind of. Everybody saw the potential right away that you could get away from the hotel, but at the same time, it's a hotel on the water. So the core of the the core of the franchise is still the same, but now we get to see this big monster world. I could not be more excited to have all of you on board our first ever monster cruise. I am Captain Erica. Hello, how y'all doing? So. You must be the one and only Dracula. A dooby day, shula, a kooby day. There's just something about an accent that makes a man sound so intelligent. So, how is this movie different from the first two sequels, and where are the destinations for this film? In the first two movies, we really just saw more of the human world. Maybe in the second one, we saw a little bit of like the monster vampire camp. But really, we never got to explore where the monsters have a much bigger world outside of just the hotel. So that was the whole idea. So you know, they take Gremlin Air to get to their destination, which is the Gremlins trying to destroy the plane the whole way, right? They get to the Bermuda Triangle, which is kind of the port, and it's kind of what is our silly, crazy way to、um, illustrate and make the Bermuda Triangle visual and very unique. And it's basically a triangle in the water, right?、Mm-hmm. And then、uh, we go to under an un- underwater volcano, which is more about kind of what happens there, and we just made it more kind of red, and it feels like it's a, a monster location, even though it's kind of not. And then, of course, we did Atlantis, right? And Atlantis is our, our final destination, and we wanted to spin Atlantis where it, what it would be contemporary, right? So we kind of made it like a big Vegas hotel, or like all of Vegas in this gigantic vertical city. You know, actually, I was thinking you and Johnny should spend some time together. What do you call it again?、Uh, uh, date night. Come on, Johnny. Date night. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah, dolphin surfing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey there. <laughs> There's actually a lot going on in this movie. So, what is your personal favorite moment of this movie? We have the scene where Dracula and Erica are on a date, right? And he she, he helps her to sit down, and he's trying to be very confident on the date, and he sits down. But we did this like one second orchestration of movement to illustrate his overconfidence and he, being very suave. And we worked like almost like four to six weeks with one animator on this scene. 
to show the character, right, without him having to say anything. And, and we did it, and I was really happy with it. And then we had a screening of about like a thousand people. And when that scene came on, everybody laughed, right? And that's like one of these golden moments as being as an animator, that's what you look for. It's totally pantomime. It's totally character motivated and, uh, and it was great. And so I think it's probably the most proud that I've been. With a lot of actors and comedians on set, were there any improvisation being played out in the movie? It's funny because you think with all these comedians, there would be crazy amount of ad-libbing and there really isn't. They're all, uh, they're all craftsmen about the, the art of joke telling, right? So it kind of has to be in the script initially. You know, they're not gonna let you go uh, if, you, if they don't understand the joke. They're gonna either not say it or ask about it. So there's a lot of pressure initially when we get into the record where you wanna make sure that they all like the joke. Like David Spade, he ad-libs a lot for sure, right? You can just let him go and he's amazing, you know? And one of the ad-libs that made it in is actually from Adam and it was after the fart, he goes, was it you? You know, and it was a great little ad lib, and we put it in, and we all laughed, and it really, uh, it really made that scene. Are you overworked and stressed out? Then you need a monster vacation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard, Gremlin Air. Mavis, you know I hate surprises. <laughs> this is a fun surprise. For your safety, please unbuckle your seatbelts. <laughs> In the likely event we experience a sun drop in cabin pressure, oxygen will be provided. That would be lovely. Ah, why are we on the plane? We can fly, you know. I've taken care of everything. It's time for you to relax. Uh. Okay, folks, we have started our descent. Plans for the weekend then, Bill? Oh, you know, the usual. Gotta take the kids to soccer. Why do you think this film is good for people of all ages? I think generally, you know, I like to think of it more simplistic about why audiences with parents and kids all would go. And I think because the, the sensibility of the humor and the style of humor is for kind of all ages. You know, I think it was dating back to the first movie. I went to the premiere, you know, the opening weekend, and I sat there, and there was this dad and his son, right? And maybe the kid was maybe like eight years old or something. And there was a scene where Frankenstein jumped off the giant tentacle into the water and then broke. And both, they both laughed, right? And you start to realize like, right, this kind of physical humor, if it's done right, transcends any kind of age, right? And so for this movie, we really put a lot of that in there, you know? And then so far from some of the screenings that I've seen, both adults and kids are laughing at the same things. You nailed it, honey! Best summer vacation ever! You were right, great-grandfather Van Helsing. Monsters are disgusting! They have no idea what's about to happen to them. Something about that woman I don't trust. The food here is to die for. Mm. Mm. Must have been garlic in the guacamole. Is that deadly for you? <laughs> Was that you? Ugh. Oh no, Blavi's gonna puke. <laughs> We are arriving at our final destination. I give you the legendary lost city of Atlantis. <gasps> it's a giant bracket! There's a place you gotta be A thousand leagues beneath the sea And it's waiting over here for you Hi, Selena. I'm such a huge fan. So can you tell us a little bit about your character, Mavis, and why does she want to plan this family trip for everyone? Mavis is awesome. She's up to her usual antics. She loves family. She obviously loves her, like, her family and her husband and kid. She notices her dad's a little lonely. 
So I, I think it's safe to say that she wanted to bring everyone together, and the best way to do that was stick them all on a boat so no one could leave, and that's what happened. How do you guys feel about the cast this time around? Drax Pack is back. Selena, you want to expand on that? I would say that we got every single person from the drag pack back. However, we got some cool new people. Some new ads. Some Catherine Hahn. Joe Jonas. So it's fun, yeah. What do you think the audience will enjoy the most about this movie? It's a great summer movie for the whole family. It's got action, adventure, romance. Mm -hmm. Jokes, comedy, something for the kids, something for the parents, something for the tweens. <laughs> yeah. It's the total package. It is. It's a cinematic powerhouse. I have never been asked for more tickets to anything I've ever done in my life than this movie. For over a century, the hotel has been his life. But next summer, if anyone needs a vacation, Drac. A cruise? Ooh. Surprise! Oh, no, 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 no. Dad! Okay, smile. Check it out, Dad. There's so much to do. Olympic size swimming pool. So Catherine, I loved your role in um, Parks and Recreation. So you play Erica in this movie, and what do you think her motive is? You think that she's just, uh, you know, f the cruise director that's kind of flirting with one of her guests, but you realize that because of her, her legacy uh, as a Van Helsing, she wants to see him dead. So, and destroyed. So, yeah, I would say that that is uh, quite a secret. Erica is such a charm in the beginning, of course, but what was your experience like um, voicing for Erica? It's a ball because of that duplicity. It's so, it's so fun as an actor to be able to play those two sides of, of any character. Uh, of course, the like, you know, public and private and the like good and bad and, you know, all that stuff. It's just a ball. Oh, you can eat for me. Phone service, spa! Yeah, so impressive. It's like a hotel on the water. Who is that? Okay, Dad, thank you. <laughs> oh no, Blabby's gonna puke. <laughs> The humor definitely plays a big role in this movie. How would you describe it? We've got humor from the beginning to the end. And, you know, it's some of it's laugh out loud funny, some of it's just chuckle funny. But my guess is you'll be watching the movie with a smile on your face the whole time. What do you think about director Gendy? Gendy Tartakovsky, the director of Hotel Transylvania 3, brings so much to this movie. I couldn't even imagine this movie without him. He is, uh, well, you know, first of all, the story is based on uh, an actual story that happened in his life, an actual event that took place in his life. So he pretty much embodies this whole experience. And um, so he brings a lot of humor to going on a cruise. Uh, he brings a lot of humor to our characters. The animation is incredible. The um, music, the way the movie looks, just everything about it is all Gendy. And um, I really think that that really comes through on this one. What do you think of the new add-ons to the movie, Catherine as Erica? Catherine Hahn, who plays Erica, is really amazing. She is incredibly funny. She is heartfelt. She is, you know, she can play chaos and she is just amazing. She's all over the place. Um, you know, she is a great compliment to Adam as Drac and um, also a great compliment to uh, Van Helsing. So she plays well off of anybody. Everybody just please watch the hair. Watch the hair! Here comes the bag! So you play Moray in the movie. Can you introduce to us what is on the cruise this time? Everything is catered specifically to monsters. So there are some familiar elements like a daycare for kids and a cruise ship pool they take advantage of. Uh, but everything has a, a bit of a monster twist. And this time around, you get to see these characters step out of the hotel 
into this crazy, cool, creature-filled world. So it's a fun adventure. So what do you think of the hot Captain Erica? Voiced by Catherine Hahn. Erica is the captain of the ship, so and she's she's really smart, adventurous, and she holds a secret that actually threatens to send this nautical journey off course. So when the movie starts, Erica seems like the cool human who just you know happens to fit in with the monsters, but you end up learning that Erica is actually part of the Van Helsing family, which means she basically is a double agent with a secret identity who's who's after Drac. So everyone is in a lot more danger than they think. And it all makes for like a, a pretty thrilling adventure. So you play the vampire hunter um, Van Helsing. So what do you think is so interesting about the story? In Hotel Transylvania Three, what's so exciting is they go on a cruise, and uh, they're going to go to an island, a monster island, for a vacation. And so, what's you interesting also is that there is a vampire hunter, uh, Van Helsing. Abraham Van Helsing, played by a very good-looking comedian named me. And so Van Helsing, who's hunting Dracula over his lifetime, is finally going to have a confrontation with Dracula. So uh, there's, there's a problem that exists on this cruise that they're going on, is that like there's someone out to get them, which is kind of scary. 好，接下来让我们一起来观看一下这部影片的幕后制作花絮。Second team co-ed intramural volleyball at Santa Cruz. DJ Jazzy Johnny in the house. Uh, this is Bob. <laughs> Say hi, Bob. <laughs> Come on, Papa Drac. There you are, Tinkles. Don't worry, we're almost there. Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle, where you'll embark on a monster cruise of a lifetime. Do it about here. No, ready. Oh. <laughs> That's right. What exactly don't you understand? Hey, Murray here may be from Egypt, but you're the one in denial. Ha ha ha! Did you guys get that? Ow! You hit me right in the. Ow! Watch where you're pointing, Mister. I'm right here. This is like the nicest hotel I've ever been to. Yeah. Everybody, just please watch the hair. Watch the hair. Oh no, you don't. Last time you gambled, you lost an arm and a leg, literally. Frank, would you rub some moonscreen on my back before I get burned? Good evening, travelers. I am Professor Abraham Van Helsing. Yes, one of the Van Helsing. Fear not. For I am a professional, and I know how to flush out these beasts and bring them into the light. Finally, first I kill Dracula, and then the rest of the monsters. 好的，那么以上呢就是今天对我好莱坞的全部内容了。感谢大家的收看，我们下一期同一时间再见了，拜拜。So, you must be the one and only Dracula. Oh, that was incredible! Man, this is amazing. There's so much to do. Oh, I'm gonna give me a seaweed rewrap. Whoa, who is that? Surprise! Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun. I've taken care of everything, so you don't need to worry. You've been so stressed out lately.